going to start by opening up the trunk lid, pulling the handle, and releasing that latch. Inside the trunk lid, just below the glass, you're going to see a seat release latch. Pull it towards you and reach in and push that seat. Do the same on the passenger side. So what we want to do is we want to lift upward on this front fascia panel here. And as we lift up, there's going to be a series of plastic or white plastic retainer clips that secure this rear deck lid in place. So let's go ahead and release this unit. Lift up, and then once you get it up, you want to pull towards you. So now that we have the rear deck lid released, there is a power cable that comes back underneath here and there's a little retainer clip. We're going to try and disconnect this unit here, press in that little spring tab, remove that, and then you want to release this little clip here. So you can do one of two things, you can use a trim tool remover or you can reach up through the top underneath the deck deck lid and release the tabs on the on the retainer clip here. Now we're going to end up using a pair of long pliers. I'm going to pinch the little tabs here and work that connector down. Now we can go ahead and pull that harness out and we'll remove the rear deck lid. Now in order to remove the third brake light assembly here we have to remove this trim ring right here. It's a series of Phillips head screws. Let's go ahead and remove these screws. Once you get these out, go ahead and pull that trim ring off, set that right beside, and we're going to go ahead and remove these two Phillips head screws. And then little retainer spring clips here. So we're just gonna loosen those or pinch them with a pair of needle nose pliers. And go ahead and remove the unit. Go ahead and line up the component. Press this down using those spring lock tabs there. Install your two Phillips head screws for the third brake light and just snug those down. Line this up and we'll reinstall all of the little Phillips head screws for that ring. I will generally just get the screws started, get them all lined up, and then I'll go back through and snug those down. You can just simply take your connector, feed this through, pull it through like so. Now that we're ready for installation, you want to go ahead and inspect and make sure that all of your white retainer tabs are in their correct prospective locations. You can see I'm missing one here and two on this end here. These are actually in the rear deck lid of the vehicle, so you want to go ahead and pop those out and then we're going to slide them into here before installation. Go ahead and slide these into their slots. Once those are in, now go ahead and install your harness into the retainer tab right here. Before we reinstall this rear deck lid here, it's going to be really, really tough to get in here and clean once it's back in installed. So now's the prime time to go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and get this lined up. And once we get this back to a certain point, you want to go ahead and get that harness dropped down inside that hole. So we have that harness right here. Feed that down inside.
once you're all done with that, go ahead and fold your seat up. So now we have the connector right here with its retainer clip. You can line that up and pop that back into the body itself. And then take the other connector, line that up, and snap that into place. Once you're installed, you want to go ahead and test that brake light. Make sure it's fully functional.